Okay, expansion of liquid in a container. A hollow aluminium cylinder has an internal capacity of 2000 cm cube. Okay, it is completely filled with turpentine at 20 degrees Celsius. The turpentine and the aluminium cylinder are then slowly warmed together uh, to 80 degrees Celsius. Given alpha of aluminium and gamma of turpentine. Uh, again, this alpha you have to change to gamma um, by multiply 3, multiply 3 alpha to get gamma aluminium. Uh, why use gamma? Because we use volume. Uh, this is about volume. Okay. Uh, how much turpentine overflows? So this, uh, this example is actually similar to the previous video. Okay, previous video. So uh, the, the working is almost the same. Uh, let's find out. Yeah? Let's calculate also. Okay. Uh, right. Let's, uh, let me draw the picture for you. Yeah, like this. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, okay. So we have the aluminium cylinder. Okay, this is the aluminium cylinder. It doesn't look like a cylinder, but it's just like the tank. Okay. Uh, the volume is 2000 cm cube. Completely filled. Uh, you see that? completely filled so what is mean by completely filled that means at the initial temperature 20 degrees celsius okay it is completely filled with the turpentine that means they have the same initial volume okay the initial volume okay let me write it down here uh, okay yeah so uh, initial temperature because they completely filled that means the turpentine initial volume is the same as the initial volume for the aluminium cylinder they have the same volume because completely filled they have the same initial volume which is 2000 cm cube but then after warm both are warm together you see the turpentine and aluminium cylinder both are warm together together you see warm together uh, yeah they are warm together both get warm together so both get heated up so both expands lah both expand yeah both expand but turpentine expand faster yeah turpentine expand faster because it has higher gamma yeah it has higher gamma value yeah the liquid expand faster than solid uh, okay so that's that's why the turpentine can overflow okay so at a final temperature of 80 degrees celsius the final volume of turpentine is bigger than the final volume of aluminium uh, because why because the uh, because the gamma for the no the gamma for the turpentine the gamma for the turpentine is the bigger than the gamma for, than of the aluminium yeah uh, liquid expands faster than solid lah uh, yeah in simple words liquid expands faster than solid uh, okay liquid Liquid, uh, the turpentine, this this the turpentine expand faster than solid. Uh, okay, the gamma of the the gamma of the turpentine is bigger than gamma of the aluminium. Okay, so the final volume of the turpentine is bigger than the final volume of the aluminium. Okay, so the amount of overflow is we take the final volume of the turpentine. Uh, this is the turpentine. Uh, in case you this is the turpentine T and this is the aluminium uh, yeah aluminium uh, aluminium cylinder okay turpentine aluminium cylinder okay so we take the final volume of the turpentine minus the final volume of the aluminium cylinder then we can get the volume of turpentine overflow okay so uh, first of all we have to convert the this one okay this alpha into gamma okay so we list down okay uh, we list down the value we have the gamma for turpentine already which is the equal to 9 exponent uh, 9 exponent negative 4 uh, per degree celsius and uh, but then we have the aluminium alpha the coefficient of linear expansion which is a uh, uh, 24 exponent uh, negative 6 uh, per degree Celsius. So we have to find the gamma for aluminium, which is uh, 3 alpha. Multiply 3, yeah? 3 alpha aluminium, okay? 3 alpha. So 
so which is a uh, 3 times 24 exponent negative 6 per degree Celsius so what do we get we get uh, the answer is um, uh, 24 exponent negative 6 uh, multiply 3 so we get it is 7.2 7.2 exponent negative 5 per degree Celsius okay so if you look at the value yeah we can see which one expand faster is it the the this is the this is the gamma for turpentine this is the gamma for uh, for the uh, hold on a second it's the gamma for aluminium which is this one this value so which one is bigger yeah look at the exponent yeah not just the value the exponent you see this one is negative 4 this is negative 5 negative 4 is much bigger see that uh, negative 4 is much bigger so we can say that the turpentine the gamma turpentine is much bigger than gamma for aluminium uh, this is this is the the turpentine yeah turpentine uh, liquid uh, turpentine liquid uh, this is the aluminium uh, container this is the aluminium container uh, uh, this is the solid uh, so liquid expand faster than solid or turpentine expand faster expands faster uh, yeah the gamma uh, turpentine expand faster than solid so uh, because the turpentine negative 4 this one negative 5 much smaller yeah, smaller exponent okay good so now um now how much turpentine overflow so we need to uh, find out the, we already got the gamma so the next step is find the final volume of the turpentine and the final volume of aluminium then we minus each other then we can get the answer Okay, so the final volume for the turpentine is using uh, is initial volume of turpentine and then uh, 1 plus uh, 1 plus um, you know uh, gamma gamma for okay let me work because this uh, working is the same as before so I uh, just finish off the these parts and we move on to the next parts yeah if I finish off the working here Ah, okay so I uh, I just uh, do it for you because this uh, example is similar to previous video so you have to refer to the previous video how to get this okay so um, yeah I find the final volume of the tank and eh, no final volume of the turpentine and also final volume of the aluminium container uh, so I got for the turpentine is 2108 but for aluminium is only 2008 so we can see the turpentine expand much more than aluminium container yeah expand much faster okay remember take the final temperature minus initial temperature and the gamma for um for the turpentine is uh this one okay and then uh, gamma for aluminium don't take the alpha you must multiply three first yeah take the gamma yeah don't take alpha so uh, 7.2 okay so initial volume is the same 2000 so i got this okay Unit it can maintain as um, you know cm uh, cm cube because uh, the unit this both side is the same uh, cm cube cm cube uh, so they both can have the same unit uh, so no need to change to SI unit yeah no need to change to SI unit it can maintain as cm cube right to make things easier uh, similarly to the change of temperature yeah last time I did say about the change of temperature here. Uh, the change of temperature here you can either degree Celsius or Kelvin no need to change to you have degree Celsius no need to change to Kelvin lah. okay so okay I got uh, the, the it is the final volume of the um, the turpentine is 2108 uh, minus 2008.64 uh, so finally what's the amount overflow the amount overflow is uh, 99.36 uh, 99.36 cm cube uh, uh, the unit okay so th is that answer okay how much amount overflow yes that's correct yeah uh, how much turpentine overflow 99.36 cm cube 99.36 cm cube that's correct
okay 99.36 cm cube now b what is the amount of turpent volume turpentine remaining at in the cylinder at 80 degrees celsius so those the remaining one is this one lah. Uh, the, the remaining one is uh, the inside one yeah uh, this is the turpentine uh, turpentine uh, remaining uh, those overflow has gone yeah those amount overflow has gone uh, this this amount overflow has this has gone uh, yeah uh, this amount um, uh, this amount has gone lah. okay the uh, 99 99.36 cm cube has gone okay 99.36 cm cube has gone uh, so what's remaining is um, uh, the the one in the container the volume in the the aluminium container uh, which is uh, the amount remaining is uh, this 2008.64 ah, okay so the amount remaining is uh, uh, 2000 yeah we have uh, 2008.64 cm cube inside okay which is the same as the container but the amount overflow is uh, 99.36 cm cube okay uh, so uh, just now this is for question this is for question a okay for question b he said what is the amount volume uh, remain the remaining yeah so b uh, so question for b is the volume uh, remaining uh, turpentine is the same as the final volume of the aluminium can ah the fact the remaining the final remaining uh, the remaining turpentine inside the container is the container itself <laughs> isn't it it's the container itself which is the final volume of the aluminium uh, which is uh, 2008 uh, 2008.64 cm cube. Okay, is that the answer? Yes, 2008.64 cm cube. That's correct. Okay. Uh, and then question C. Question C. Now, uh, look at this question. If if the combination uh, with this amount of turpentine is then cooled back to 20 degrees Celsius, find the volume of the turpentine in the cylinder after it cools back to 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so uh, now it cooled back. Uh, this, the whole thing cooled back to 20 degrees. So how? Uh, so it cooled back to 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, so uh, this amount of what well, is the volume of the turpentine in the cylinder? It cools back to twenty degrees Celsius. So if uh, this uh, this is the temperature, uh, this is the volume two thousand and eight point six four is the volume of turpentine at eighty degrees Celsius. Uh, the ninety nine point three six already gone. So the remaining is this one. The remaining is two thousand and eight point six four cm cube. Cool down from eighty to twenty. Uh, it cooled down from 80 to 20. So let's find the volume of the turpentine when cool back to 20. Uh, cool back to 20. So let's find out. Uh, so also we use the formula, uh, this formula lah. Yeah, formula V V final equal to V initial, uh, and then uh, one plus gamma uh, delta T. Uh, but this one we use. Turpentine, isn't it? We are considering about the turpentine. Yeah, cool back to twenty. So, what is the volume of uh, turpentine after cool back to twenty? So, we want to find the uh, final volume of turpentine. Okay, gamma for turpentine. Um, so now is um, cool back. Yeah, cool back. So we can say cool back. So that means uh, What's the initial temperature? We must know what's the initial temperature. Initial temperature is 80 lah. Now you want to cool back to what? Cool back to 20. Uh, cool back to the ori original, original temperature. Yeah. 
Uh, so this 20 degrees Celsius is our final now. It's our final. This 80 is our initial. Uh, because we cool back. We cool back. Uh, okay. The, ter the terpentine. Huh? So now how to do this. Huh? Uh, this is the important, huh? important thing. Yeah? So um, okay. Let's find out the final volume of terpentine. Final volume of terpentine. Uh, which is... Uh, Okay, the initial volume is uh, 2008.64 and then uh, 1 plus what's the gamma for terpentine gamma for terpentine is uh, gamma for terpentine is uh, 9 gamma for terpentine is 9 exponent negative 4 yeah 9 exponent negative 4 9 exponent negative 4 uh, and then final temperature uh, this one is the final minus initial temperature okay this one delta t here is uh, uh, you, uh, delta t. This one is final minus initial temperature. Yeah, final minus initial temperature. So uh, is uh, final is twenty. Uh, we cool back. Uh, final minus initial. Initial is hot. Uh, after that is cold. Uh. Uh, so fine use final minus initial. Final is twenty minus initial eighty. Okay. So let's find the final volume of turpentine okay let's calculate okay so the final volume is uh, 19 uh, 1900.17 uh, cm cube oh it's less than 2000 already huh? it's less than 2000 already so that means when it cool back from 80 to 20 now it become less already uh, less means like this uh, so this is a cool back. So uh, last time when 20 degrees Celsius is 2000 cm cube full to the um, yeah filled completely filled, and then it heated up some of the turpentine overflow. But now you cool back, you cool back. What's left inside the uh, cool back? You know, cool back from 80 back to 20. Uh, the container also back to the original uh, original 2000 cm cube, 2000 cm cube. But the turpentine uh, ex uh, co uh, contract much more, yeah. Contract much more, yeah. Serpentine expand fast and also contract fast. You understand? It contract fast, contract more. Expand serpentine expand more and also contract more. Uh, see, so serpentine uh, contract. I uh, see. Uh, left with only one thousand nine hundred uh, seventeen, not even two thousand anymore. Yeah, because part of it, uh, part of the serpentine already spilled out. Okay, but all the turpentine already spilled out, already overflow. Uh, this, this is what it left. Okay, at 20 degrees Celsius. So, is the answer correct? Uh, is the answer correct? Uh, yes, 1900.17. Uh, this is the amount left. Uh, yeah, that's, that's correct. Okay, this is the answer. This is what's left in the con left in container. Uh, left in container at uh, temperature 20 degree Celsius okay okay cool down so just use the uh, 2008 and then apply the change of temperature 80 cool to 20 yeah then we get this amount okay uh, so it's much less compared to previous one okay because some of it already overflow in the middle of the process okay so that's all for these questions yeah Hope you understand and enjoy. Okay, see you in the next video.